let's start with the dueling dragons, uh, CPT stuff. Why is it so quiet? Sorry, what was that? <laughs> God damn it, Juna. Alright, this is uh, Dueling Dragons Loser Finals. We'll watch top three. Man, Fudo versus Gotchkin, huh? This is a good match. Did we watch Kagami versus Kichipamu? Uh, I think we did. Did I play Omen of Sar? Yeah, I played it while I was there. It was really good. I didn't get to see Dueling Dragons when it was live. Um, so... It's cool to get to watch this. I think I was out of town. I think I was at TFC or something, right? Or where was I? I don't remember. I'm traveling so much I often don't remember. Damn! You know that I feel like that's one of the most underrated whiff punish moves in the game. I think that her standing fierce is a better whiff punish than most people talk about. It's like actually really good. It has really far range too. Tapped. Boom. Can he actually go under here? I think... Yeah, I was going to say, I think he has to stay in the front, right? Ah, that was a good choice. I think he guaranteed death there. I don't think there was any way out of that. This is a uh, check and mate, right? Because... That's a weird combo choice, I guess, but he wants to set this up because if you jump or EX uppercut, which is what he did, you get out of the command throw attempt, right? You get out of the command throw attempt, but... You're guaranteed to get hit by Nadeshko. If you eat the command throw, she builds more meter and stuns you anyway. There's no escape. Backdash? I think you get hit by Nadeshko still. It's no escape. It's very rare that other characters get to set up stuff like that. Yeah, Omanasar was a lot of fun. Nice. <clears throat> that was, um... Udo's really good at abusing when it's his turn. Uh, towards, uh, towards medium punch by Rashid is minus two. Right? And so he hits jab, which would be any button he does, and then just dash command throw. He knows he's gonna wait. He knows he's sitting there waiting because it's not his turn, right? Counter hit confirm. Ah, uh, he missed his meaty. I don't know if there's an auto meaty there that Mika has that's easy. What you're saying is that it's an unblockable and or inescapable throw. Yeah, there's no way out of that without getting stunned because of his health situation. Whoa. Left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. That was good uppercut. Crouching medium kick, huh? Damn, he just walked up and threw him. Man, that throw loop in the corner is so dangerous, man. Rashid is one of the... <laughs> Rashid is one of the most dangerous when he corners you. That was such a funny shot. Like, both of them were like, why am I on camera? That was a good empty air attempt. That does a lot of damage if it lands. My question is, can Fudo CA through the block string? Nice. Jump back jab is a good choice. See, this is the problem, though, with Rashid. Oh, shit. I went so far. This is the problem with Rashid in the corner, though, right? Where are we? Back over here. Is that even if you chase the wall escape once, it doesn't really matter, right? Because he will make it out. Is this further ahead than I thought? Yeah, this is not as far as I... I went too far ahead. It doesn't matter what you do in the corner against Rashid, right? Because even if you jump back jab as a read, you gain nothing and you lose the corner. And then he goes off the wall again, and this time he does the high wall jump and... Like, there's no point in this chase, right? Like, you, you can't, you can't stop it. All Rashid players have girlfriends, multiple girlfriends. <laughs> All Rashid players are have multiple girlfriends. You heard it here first. It's confirmed in the Twitch chat. Good block. That was very smart. He even baited. He faked the meaty. See, he did the jab. Right. This is uh, this is really good. So that's that's how you fake the meaty here, right? He he throws them command throw, and then you can do a meaty here with down short four fears. So he just whiffs down jab and then walks back to make him think something's happening. That was really good. Optimal from Fudo. How old is Gotchkun? I feel like he looks so young.
blocking a lot, but Dachikun feels the pressure. <laughs> there was no emotion on anybody's face. <laughs> Man, this crowd shot is so funny. Oh, damn, Crush, this is rough. Yeah, counter hit, that's done. I don't know what he was trying there. He's advantage after that. You can't hit a button if he hits a three frame. Or maybe he read something else. Jump out splash. So this is actually one thing that I think Fudo does that almost no other Mika does. Is that he just holds up out of a lot of defensive scenarios. And then even if he's right. Or you're right. And you think he's going to jump or something, right? He can mix you up between splash or jump button. And he does the same thing right here. So trying to guess whether he's going to escape the corner or not is really hard. Uh, it's one of the, the best mix-ups. He does that when he jumps out of Geef command throw, too. Yeah, media setup. With Fierce into down Fierce is the, the answer. He woke up Eagle Spike to try to get out because he thought Fudo might respect it. Wow, really? That wasn't a command throw attempt? That wasn't successful? I thought it would have been. Hmm. Got him. You know that that confirm from Mika is actually very easy. I think landing the medium punch is the hard part, but man, I can't believe how many frames you have to confirm that. It's crazy easy. Regular throw, he gets meaty here. Ah, uh, what did you go for? What did he possibly try after a regular throw? Command throw? When's the next time I'm traveling? It'll be uh, next weekend, maybe? I don't know. Not this weekend. This weekend, I'm chilling. EX. King kill with command throw here. Ah, yeah. Wake up button again. She Her medias are a little weird. She doesn't always get something guaranteed. Crushed. He's dead? No, I guess he didn't spend any... Oh, shit. He's still dead. Damn. All right. All right, all right, all right. That was good. Am I going to be at CC? Is that Canada Cup? When is Canada Cup? It's pretty soon, right? Damn, his second down short was not in range. I wonder if Heavy Mixer from Rashid will beat both Jump splash and non-jump splash. What a read on back dash. Holy moly. Not only does he get a punish, but he reads with strong fierce. He doesn't do like jab jab. Crushed him. He's stunned. Yeah, he does jump fierce. Builds a lot of bar. Jump fierce, uh, or build a lot of bar. Builds the, the mic. Yeah, so the throw will kill him no matter what. Hatani is bored. He doesn't even care. What a teammate, right? He doesn't even have to watch. <laughs> Texas Showdown? I'm not sure. That's a good question. Damn, Wake Up Eagle Spike is good. Because, you know that Wake Up Eagle Spike, It's it, it beats a lot of things. So, if you try to walk backwards, right? If you walk this way to throw bait, then Eagle Spike will just go out of the corner, right? So that's what, Eagle Spike is good for that reason. Uh, also, Eagle Spike will beat someone doing like a throw or if they respect the wake up at any kind, they jump or something like that. So Eagle Spike is very strong on wake up. A lot of people do like the wake up three frame and then do jab Eagle Spike. It's the end of the month? Okay. So like two weeks. Ah, uh, stun. Is he dead? He's got full bar. He can power up the mic fierce. Yeah, yeah. I guess he's probably dead. That'd be my guess. That's rough. At first you thought James and David and Shen and Z were couples. Yeah. Well, Shen and Z are a couple. They have true love.
Oh, uh, he's too far. Damn. That's uh, that's really good awareness. This is like the awareness of somebody who knows their opponent's character very well. Because right here, you know that Rashid, to get a combo, the only thing he's going to have is furthest ranging button is going to be sweep. So Fudo just has like a mini option selector here, right? When you know that he's going to try sweep, you just hit your own sweep or whatever your whiff punish is. Because if this sweep is in range and you hit your sweep, you just die, right? But, or yeah, you just get hit by the sweep. It doesn't matter. But if this isn't a combo, then your slide will come out and, and beat it. So that's a pretty good choice. Am I going to go with Z to GDC? GDC, uh, is that the, you're talking about the thing in, in SF? Games developer conference or whatever? GDQ. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I, the GDQ looks like a fun event to go to. I'm sure Z would be welcomed with open arms. <laughs> and Ashko still, yeah. Damn. That's a lot of damage to eat. Throw. Does back throw with Rashid do more damage? Does anybody know? I could look it up real quick. If it, if it does slightly more damage, it would have killed them. Some characters, their back throw does more damage or forward throw does more damage. Damn, he just got clipped? Uh oh. He does 10 more damage? Jesus. He would have killed them, maybe? With 10 extra damage. What a bastard. Oh shit, that was far. Man, you really see EX uh, kick command throw. It's, I feel like it's like, I don't know. It's generally not worth the meter, right? Because you want to do EX punch, it does more damage, and that's often the kill command throw. Clean anti air. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That was good. That's really, really strong patience to anti air down strong there. Jab V trigger is a weird one. Jump. He was throw attacking. Okay. How's it going? It's going good. When you're going to hook up a tablet and draw on the screen? What do you mean? I can draw on the screen as much as I want. Alright, so my question earlier, and I think I've seen this before. Does Heavy Mixer be jump and jump splash i think jump splash might sometimes beat it right or actually maybe it hits in a weird it hits in a weird space right yeah gotchkun looks really young who do i play in sf5 i'm a yurian main but i also lately i've been playing a lot of guile and um one other character i don't remember who was i messing with I want to learn Minot, but I just haven't had the time. I haven't been home that much. Good neutral jump ants here. I feel like that's Fudo exclusive. Slide trigger. I think that that was kind of a waste of trigger, to be honest. He gets quick Nadeshko and then just goes for command throw. I mean, like, you get some damage, but I don't know. You lose your bar. Jump twice. Ah, uh, how often does Fudo get clipped like that? That's very rare that he panics. I think that most people tend to tech more when they make a mistake. So he made a mistake right there, and I think that that's why he teched. I feel like the mindset most players have is when they mess up or something they try loses, right? The other opponent makes something happen. Then they're more likely to tech right after. Because in your mind, you want to reconcile the situation. And when you tech, you feel like, or when you throw tech or you throw somebody, you feel like, yeah. That's like the quick answer to make you feel better. And, I don't know. I think that that's a common scenario that people will get the throw bait in. Because when they make a mistake and their opponent goes for it right after. Because your mind is still trying to recover from the mistake. The Rashido army is everywhere, man. Getting clipped is just getting hit. I, I use clipped as like a synonym. Crushed him. He gets combo. Yeah, just take the corner carry and damage. Uh oh, left right. Yeah, that's stun. Oh, that wingless was really good. 
I love that choice on the stun combo. Strong, and he knows that Fierce will stun, so he cancels it directly in a wingless airplane. Oh, that's a setup. That's a really interesting setup. Okay, so I'll explain. Most people here tend to not quick rise because they think he's going to do down medium punch, which will standing reset you. But he does crouching fierce down short, which is a setup. It's like a he gets a crazy fancy jump setup that's really ambiguous if you late rise. But the backdash here is part of that setup. He can counter hits him anyway. So, uh, you'll probably see that set up from Fudo if he plays anybody in the corner. And uh, <laughs> I get to play around and hear this Ares donation. Thanks very much <laughs> for the subscription. Six months in a row, butt hash. <laughs> I actually have never heard that original clip, uh, the Ares donation one. Or is that a subscription one? I don't remember which. But thanks very much for the sub and cross. Six months. It's a long time. But yeah, I've never seen the original clip. Got him. This is a common thing that people do in neutral. This is like every single fighting game, right? Where you whiff something. And then you just swing again right after immediately. You whiff something really fast, and then you just do a button right after. Because it will catch people trying to whiff on a shoe. Is that real meat either? Dash jab, I guess. EX? Yep. Good pickup. During the jump, he was able to see it. Ah, and I think he's dead. This is actually why her punch command throw is so good, right? He gets short jab EX, and he's like way in range. You can do like one more button probably and still be in range. Clean him up. That EX punch command throw does a shit ton of damage too. Man, Mika is such a good character. She's a good character.